Hello Scorpio and welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome. And cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well because this is a general love reading. The roles can always be reversed. So uh, Scorpio, definitely apply it to your situation. Take only what resonates or what I'm already confirming that you know to be true. Um, part of you, your person and this connection, for example. And whatever does not resonate, you know, is definitely not part of your story. Just toss it to the side. Um, the whole point of this reading is to simplify the messages for you, um, Scorpio. So I will have the intention now with your reading, Scorpio, is that it is for those that are not in communication with um, your person. So whether, you know, this disconnection happened last month, um, at the start of this year, last year, or even beyond that, I do want to see that because uh, I was getting a lot of people requesting um, to have uh, a reading for those that are not in communication. So perhaps maybe Scorpio, it's a bit hard for you to let go of this person, um, you know, especially if you're really thinking about them as well. So, um, you know, on and off, you may find yourself a bit nostalgic as well, you know, with the better times that you had with this person. So yeah, this is definitely for those that are not in communication. You're not with your person right now. So, I mean, really it just could be, you know, soulmates in separation. So let's see what is happening. Let's see. Um, Scorpio, also optional, but if this reading does resonate with you, there will be an extended reading. Um, and the link to the extended is in the description box below. It is the first link underneath all the stars. So it's just the first one in the description box. So for those that are new to my channel, the purpose of your extended, I will be focusing 100% on your person and only on your person. I will kind of be dissecting, obviously not physically, but I will kind of be breaking down everything about your person, such as their true thoughts and feelings about you and this connection. What are their true intentions, desires, wishes, any fears, what's happening around them as well that you probably don't know about. Actions, outcome, and of course, advice for both of you moving forward. So Scorpio, if you stick around to the end of this video, you will see a glimpse of your extended. I use around four to five different decks. Um, it does sound pretty intense and it is, <laughs> but I just like to get to the bottom of it and provide you with the most insight about your person um, and how they see you. So let's get straight into it, Scorpio. Scorpio and you, your person, you and your person in separation, no communication. Let's get some clarity, especially if you didn't get any answers um, or any clarity, any closure as to why this didn't, um, you know, why is it that it ended the way it did or why the words and actions cause so much hurt. So let's see. One more. Perfect. All right, so, okay, so we have some messages here, um, some dominant messages here. Let's see, they're highlighted messages. All right, I'm already seeing here. Now, there's probably a reason why, Scorpio, that so many of you were requesting for this type of reading, um, you know, um, no communication. It really see, I'm, I'm already seeing here that um, we have very strong Aquarius, Libra, and we also have Leo energy here. Um, it doesn't have to be, could be in their chart. Um, we have someone here that wants to give you a direct message. They're just a bit in their head about it. Um, you know, should I do it um, or should I not? It's not that they don't love you, it's that they just don't know how you're going to react. Because um, I do feel that there's new information they want to tell you. Um, I do feel they're probably inclined to actually message you because they want this to be successful with that Six of Wands. So that, I'm really picking that up. They want any form of communication here with you. It's going to be direct. It's going to be to the point. They want it to be successful. Um, so let's see. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy here. So again, it's more about, oh, how do I do it? Um, do I approach Scorpio today? It's been a very long time. Or do I, um, you know, do I do it today? Do I not do it today? So I kind of feel here they're really in their head about something. Because the King of Swords is a very direct person. It's all that clear-cut communication here. And I do feel, I'm really inclined to say here that they may be on the verge of making a decision here, um, Scorpio. Oh, wow. So we do have some abandonment issues here. <clears throat> yeah, 
they're kind of seeing you now as someone that, you know, Nine of Wands, by the way, is Sagittarius energy, someone that has the guard up. Yeah, um, it's almost like you may be a little bit apprehensive, a little bit weary um, of hearing back from your person. I'm kidding here that they kind of did something that really, really, it really hurt you. Um, and I'll get to that in a minute, though. But this is the Winded Warrior, and the Winded Warrior Scorpio does not give up. They do not give up. So I have a feeling here that so far, and it doesn't matter how much time has passed here, they haven't given up on the notion of reaching out to you. And the ultimate goal is that they want it to be successful. I am getting here that some of you are indeed 100% single, focusing on yourself, your career, your finances, your study here as well. It's a card of luxury, the minor arcana of the Empress, and you are on the right path here. I'm also getting here that suddenly it's kind of hit them that if they do, well, I'm saying if, but when they do approach you, they really are crossing their fingers that you're not um, with someone. It's like they want you to be 100% single as well. But the thing is, hmm, yeah, they caused a tower moment here. I wonder what happened. Major Arcana there for Scorpio. Um, I'm already seeing here that whatever disconnection occurred, uh, you were very blindsided. You just didn't see it coming. Um, yeah. It kind of forced you to pick up the pieces here. So the major issue that we have here, um, Five of Pentacles, Taurus Energy, is we have abandonment issues. Maybe your person just did a runner. They ghosted you. Perhaps they blocked you here. Um, they made a very poor decision here because they are regretting it because Fives are all about regret here as well. And it made you feel very unloved, like a second choice because of this person. In saying that, though, this is where it gets a bit interesting, Taurus, because there is a turnaround. We have Judgment, Major Arcana here for Scorpio, which is you, of course. <laughs> um, I'm also picking up Libra as well. They will be asking you for a second chance. That's very, um, very apparent here. Um, with that Ace of Wands, they want a brand new beginning with you. And they're crossing the fingers that it's going to be successful. Mm. The problem is, though, they caused this tower moment. I feel like it was very impulsive. Um, if they walk, walked away from you, they didn't really put much thought into it. It was, you could even say it was like maybe someone influenced your person last minute and they said, okay, I'll disconnect from Scorpio, but they've been regretting it all this time though. And now they're a little bit worried that if they do ask for a second chance, one, it's like they don't really have a right to ask you for a second chance, um, but that you may also now reject them and that they'll be out in the cold now. So this is actually very interesting. So I will be clarifying all these cards. So the first one that you've got is the Fool. Major Arcana there for Aries. So the Fool is all about the possibility of a brand new beginning here. It is about new beginnings. I do see that for some of you, your person could be from abroad as well. Um, that's not for all of you though, but they will be taking that leap of faith. They're going to be taking that chance. Um, for them, it's a risky decision or else they'll end up in the Five of Pentacles um, energy though. So from procrastinating with that two of wands and the two of, you know, kind of weighing up the pros and cons of the two of pentacles, like how should I approach Scorpio? When do I do it? What do I say? What can I offer um, that is different from before? Um, I feel here they're just going to do it. They're going to close their eyes and they're just going to message you. Um, they may actually want to see you face to face here as well. I feel like this is going to catch you a bit by surprise, honestly, Scorpio. Knight of pentacles. Okay, so two messages here. This is very strong um, Virgo energy here, by the way. It doesn't have to be. Um, but I'm getting here that it's been some time now. For some of you, it's been more than a year um, since the last time you've heard from this person. This is the slowest moving night. In saying that, no, and not excusing your person here, Scorpio, this is my favorite night. Because when this night finally arrives, or as we can see, when this night finally re-enters your life, they're doing it correctly. They have really thought about what to say to you, their next move, what to offer you. Um, especially, you know, in terms of what offering you, I feel like they want to offer you, well, let's start off on a clean state, slate again. Can we rekindle this? I do feel here the second message is that some of you may want to entertain this conversation, may even be wanting to explore a possible reconciliation, but you will be taking it slow. Um, especially because, you know, they, they need to clear the air. You have a lot to say here, Aquarius. Uh, I said Aquarius. Are you dealing with an Aquarius? That is so weird that I said that. We don't even have any Aquarius cards here, well, except for this one. <laughs> um, Scorpio, I feel like you do have a lot to say here as well, which I do not blame you. Um, but I just feel the, they do want to clear the air, but you will definitely take it slow. We have the Magician. Major Arcana there for Gemini and Virgo again. 
So it's weird because it's almost like according to your person, according to them, um, if both of you met in the middle, you have all the tools you need to make this work. The magician is about creating something, you know, from nothing. But, you know, it's like they want to create that love, that relationship with you once more, though. Um, I almost feel here you're a little bit apprehensive because, you know, the, the, the shadow side, sorry, I can't even talk, of the magician here is manipulation. So it's almost like you're a little bit guarded here, questioning, are they just saying what I want to hear as well, though? I'm not really getting that yet. But um, I do really see here that, you know, the magician is often known as the one, <laughs> you know, um, Mr. and Mrs. Wright, the knight in shining armor here. So I'm honestly, it's kind of like they're thinking here that perhaps Scorpio, you were always the one. They took you for granted, though. Boy, did they really, really hurt you. They gave you that tower moment. You were in there and it came crashing down alone and it forced you to pick up the pieces and move on with your life. Um, but they're going to have to, um, they're really going to have to fight for this, I have to admit, Scorpio. We have the Nine of Cups, Pisces energy. So if we had to be really honest with ourselves right now, Scorpio, because this is when you are each other's wish fulfillment, would you be happy to hear from this person? Because one, I'm already seeing that they are coming back. They're going to take that leap of faith. They're going to take the initiative. Um, but you are their wish fulfillment. Definitely one, they never stopped caring about you. They never stopped loving you. So if you think here that um, they have no feelings for you, um, no, they do. And I understand that their actions do not match their feelings or what they're going to do now because, you know, the, the tower is just, it came crashing down so fast that it's like they didn't even fight for you. Um, but we do have a wish here being granted. We do have that beautiful um, reconciliation here, but I do feel here that just to be safe, you will be taking it very slow, Scorpio. So what is the beating heart of your reading? The Eight of Wands. So this is uh, ruled by Sagittarius, and it is by far a very fast card. It is a second, probably the second fastest um, card behind the Chariot. It is about fast changes, um, movement here, unexpected changes. Um, this is Cupid's arrow, and I do, I'm inclined to say that you will probably respond to this person because this is back and forth messages, um, Scorpio as well. Cupid's arrow, you've got a lot of messages here. So I do feel that leap of faith and trying to manifest something with you will first come in the form of sending you a message or calling you. So they're crossing the fingers that you haven't blocked them. I feel like they're looking you up. So yeah, what are they offering you is the Ace of Pentacles. You've got now getting one Ace is great. Getting two is even better, and so forth. So they do want to offer you, again, that solid chance um, of commitment, um, re-establishing all that beautiful compatibility. This is a solid relationship. And should you want this, Scorpio, this can often, almost all the time, lead to engagement and marriage. So honestly, they want to recommit to you. But this time I'm getting that they want to make it better than ever. Because so far here, you do not have any challenging cards. It's actually, there's more for you, Scorpio, than against you. Something has certainly changed in this person with that judgment card as well. Something has shifted here. I really like, I would like to think they have really grown up because they are coming across now um, also with that King of Swords energy. Four of Wands. That is my Twin Flame card, ruled by Aries. It's also my Marriage card. Wow. Um, now, this is, uh, I'm also picking up here because this can signify change of employment here, change of address as well. Um, maybe your person wants to move closer to you. Um, I'm also really picking up here that, um, let's just say, Scorpio, that, you know, you were to say yes and both of you is reconciled. Within a good couple of months, probably around four months, um, it's going to be a very committed relationship. They actually may even ask you to move in with them as well. It is my celebration card and my happy reunion card here as well. So this definitely can be healed, um, Scorpio. We have the two of wands. They're on the verge. This is it. So from being indecisive to weighing up the pros and cons, now they're on the verge, Scorpio, um, of actually taking that action here. Oh, wow. They definitely choose you. The twos are all about choices. Again, signifying that there's new job, new employment, new opportunities, and new love here. Again, to pick up where you left off. Wow. And we end with the Empress. Major Arcana there for Taurus. This person holds you in high regard. There is a lot of love for you. This is by far the most successful and abundant card um, in the entire deck. It's about creativity. It's about fertility here. Um, maybe a person wants children with you. Maybe there are already children here. Um, 
but in saying that this is about giving birth to this connection once more so i have to meet you start with a major arcana you end with a major arcana here this is looking really successful here spirit said to get one more and no wonder they did we have the world this is looking amazing scorpio wow so many major arcanas here even at the bottom of the deck so yeah your person could be from abroad um if not they're just feeling that emotional distance here perhaps some of you are dealing here with an aquarius a scorpio a taurus and also um a leo here so a difficult cycle here it's the successful completion of that difficult cycle here where lessons have been learned um as well scorpio i know you're a lot more stronger because of this your person's catching up though in terms of that strength um and learning that lessons but they do want a brand new beginning with you. They want a brand new cycle. And a very literal meaning here, Scorpio, is that they think the world of you. They see you as someone very successful here as well. So I do want to clarify these cards. Yeah, they're watching you. There's the Page of Swords, the Messenger. They're watching you. Let's put these to the side. There we are. Just get some more room. There you are. The King of Cups, Scorpio energy. Oh, so Scorpio, let's, you know, honest time. I do feel here that um, you do have, you still have feelings for this person. Yeah. Now, for some of you, it was definitely the right person, wrong time. Um, and that's what caused them to walk away or disconnect from you. But yeah, for others, yeah, I just feel here it was very careless what they did. Very careless. Let's see. Let's clarify these cards. All right, so we have a dominant card that wants to come out. That's a highlighted message for you, Scorpio. Got another one. Interesting. Okay, all right. Let's see. <clears throat> I do apologize, uh, Scorpio, if I talk very fast. Um, it's just that I get a lot of messages and I just want to make sure that you get all of them. Um, so I do apologize. Yeah, bottom of the deck, you've got it again. You've got judgment there. Now you've got it twice. Yeah, judgment. They're going to be asking you for a second chance um, to bring this back to life. That's just really solidifying that message there for you after an ending. Yeah, so Scorpio, I'll, I feel like they're not stupid here. They're not acting stupid. <laughs> it was stupid what they did in the past, though. They are very aware, Scorpio, that you do feel quite cheated here by them, by the situation, um, by this connection, how things went down. It, it is about endings there. Loss, separation, divorce, feeling stabbed in the back, betrayed by them. Um, and that's why they want to bring this back to life and heal this. What else? What else? Yeah, they're still watching you. And look at that. You've got the Queen of Swords and the King of um, Swords. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of communication. I'm seeing a very long conversation here between both of you. So, yeah, there's an apology there with that Page of Cups, Queen of Cups. Look at that. Oh, my God. There's a lot of love here. All right. So we have first one that came out. This was the one. Three of Wands, Aries Energy. And you have the Hierophant, Major Arcana there for Taurus. That is my marriage card. It's my commitment card, something that is withstanding. It's not going to go anywhere. So this person's not going to rush in and just leave. Um, I believe they're here to stay. They are waiting for the right moment, though. That's what they're doing. They're waiting. Analyzing. Should I approach Scorpio now? They look like they're okay. They're watching you like a hawk, though. That's probably why they're waiting for the right moment, to ask you for that second chance here. Wow. They have learned their lessons. Absolutely. Mm. All right. Clarifying the fool, we have... The five of wands. Yeah. I'm not surprised I'm seeing this. So that is ruled by Leo. So that's why it's a risky decision here, Scorpio, because they don't know. From their point of view, they don't know um, how you're going to react. You know, this may erupt into an argument. Um, Scorpio, you may be feeling quite triggered by this person, especially because I'm, I'm already hearing that it was almost like there was a lot of empty promises here. And there was so much potential and they pull, pulled the plug on this. Um, yeah, you didn't deserve that. Not at all. I'm also picking up that this probably didn't end on a very good note, this um, relationship. I mean, this is about um, competition, perhaps for their attention um, as well. Too many people around this connection here as well made it very complicated here. Um, the main message I'm getting here, it's about tension, conflict, arguments. They're a little bit worried about that. But is it going to stop them? No, because the major arcana is a lot more powerful than any um, court card or um, minor arcana. 
So clarifying that Knight of Pentacles, yeah. We have the Chariot Cancer energy. Now this is the fastest moving energy, which ironically though is on top of the slowest moving Knight though. So you want to take this slow, they want to take this very fast. Um, they are very, very, very determined here, Scorpio extremely determined that they want this to be victorious which makes sense though because you got that six of wands they want the first conversation between both of you to be a success so then they can take it to the next level though mm. clarifying the magician wow look at this that's why i like to shuffle on camera so clarifying the magician with da, 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 the magician twice what are the chances of that well there are there are no um what's that word coincidence you could say <laughs> yeah both of you here I, I feel like you're mirroring each other it's solidifying here it's really cementing the fact that perhaps both of you have the tools you need to make this work um they just need to build and i feel like they have done that but they need to maintain very strong boundaries um, around this connection to not allow an outside influence and people to meddle in and judge you know put in their two cents yeah both of you can create magic here that's like, you know, the card of alchemy, you know, whatever you touch turns to gold. So both of you, this is about manifesting something brand new here. And this time it's going to be better than ever, which I really see that it will. So clarifying that nine of cups, eight of wands, you got it twice now. See right here. Yeah. I feel like some of you will definitely be happy to hear from this person. Yeah. It's really confirming here that you've got sweet, loving messages coming your way. I feel like this is going to happen a lot more sooner than what you think because you've got very fast cards and the second fastest card in the deck is dominating the heart of this reading. Wow. Expect some messages, Scorpio. This is far from over. Clarifying that eight of wands. Yeah, three of um, swords. This is what the message is about. They're going to get straight into it. Very typical like the um, king of swords. Aquarius energy, very direct, very blunt about how they broke your heart. So I'm wondering for some of you, was there a third party? Was your person married? Um, or did you find, did you find out that you were the third party? For example, um, this could also be friends, family members, um, work, distance. There was something here that was the ultimate driving wedge between both of you. Uh, that's the thing though, Ooh, just knock the camera there, sorry. Your person failed to protect you in this connection, though, which they're realizing now that truly realizing that with the uh, judgment card as well um your heart is still broken though i mean i don't see that you're crying every day but yes once upon a time yes you were it was very difficult here absolutely wow clarifying that ace of pentacles we have the nine of swords uh gemini energy major regret here is punishing themselves that they didn't offer you this in the past i'm seeing that it's like um it's like a wave here of emotions that's going to happen within this conversation um how much they, they want to restart with you how they're sorry that they broke your heart and how much they're regretting that they didn't offer you that solid communication from the very start when they had when they had you scorpio they had your heart in the palm of their hand here yep they're possibly going through the dark night of the soul they do regret breaking your heart i do like the fact that they're realizing their error of their ways and not just coming back pretending that nothing happened yeah clarifying that four of wands ace of wands you got it twice see how we're getting repeat messages yep this is i have to admit scorpio the, i don't like to lie in my readings i actually never do providing false hope and wishes is utterly cruel and i like to get straight to the point so you get the most clarity that you can get scorpio there is potential here for this to be very successful um we do have reunion celebration coming together and the ace is a passionate new start here clarifying that two of wands three of pentacles capricorn um, energy some of you actually do work or study together or you know that used to happen in the past that's for some of you um yeah they're on the verge of making that decision they wish to express here um that they want to be part of your team team scorpio work with you collaborate with you not work against you yeah it's about cooperation here so they're gonna have to be patient with you and listen to you about things that you will not put up with anymore. Um, this can also indicate um, marriage in the future. Now, pentacles can sometimes represent years. So it could be up to within three years. That could possibly happen because you do have a marriage card there as well um, for some of you. Um, and this is also a marriage card. Traditional tarot um, image does show um, a couple getting married and there's a priest there. So that is looking very good. Let's clarify the Empress. The Two of Swords clarifying the world. The Queen of... Um, 
pentacles so interesting though so i do feel that yeah you're gonna take this ultimately very 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 slow again it's like i where we had i could have sworn all right of course when i saw the tool i thought there it is <laughs> i saw, thought i saw it yeah making up your mind here T take it fast take it slow listen to them or not ultimately i think you will yeah yeah i'm seeing marriage here already definitely within three years i know that sounds oddly specific but you know timing is good to kind of it's good to mention it as a rough outcome they're seeing you as someone very practical someone reliable the nurturer here they do want to take care of you financially here as well so this is looking i have to this is looking amazing <laughs> i have to say it i quite like this scorpio this is where i'm very interested i'm very curious about now is that when this happens when they finally message you and you're like your phone goes off and you're like oh my god they've actually contacted me after all this time in your extended i want to know what's going to happen beyond this that's what i want to do so i'm so interested because everything's looking amazing here um so bear with me scorpio i'm going to pause the video when i unpause it you will see a glimpse of your extended reading and kind of what i do there so just bear with me scorpio all right, welcome back, Scorpio. So as you can see, I've cleared the table and I have five different decks and it does seem like it's a lot to get through, but um, there is, but I do want to give you all the clarity from a person's perspective. So just to reiterate for those that are new to my channel, um, this is what your extended looks like and I will be focusing 100% on your person from their point of view, their true thoughts and feelings about you and this connection, um, their intentions. Um, their desires, their wishes, their fears, what's happening around them as well, um, their actions, um, outcome, and of course, advice for both of you is moving forward. So Scorpio, I will start off first with the Everyday Witch Tarot. I'll be clarifying with the Mystical um, Cats Tarot. I'll be moving on to the Answers Oracle, um, or sometimes the Yes and No cards, I call them. Sometimes we do get timing here as well when things can roughly unfold and unravel for you, Scorpio, because it's looking pretty good, I have to admit. Um, and then I'll be moving on to the Romance Angel Oracle cards, beautiful messages and advice for both of you moving forward. And my favorite deck by far is um, the Twin Flame Messages. So these are direct messages straight um, toward you, Scorpio. So if your person could say anything right now and they did not fear judgment or rejection here, um, what would they say to you? What is in their heart right now? Um, you may resonate with some of these messages as well. Maybe they've said this to you in the past as well. So I really want to just dive straight into it. Um, and everything is going to be from their perspective, though. So we're really diving a lot more deeper here, Scorpio. Um, in terms of your person and obviously all these messages this connection here this new start that's coming your way so scorpio i will see you on the other side thank you for joining me the link is below the first link underneath all those that line of stars the yellow gold stars <laughs> whatever color they are um so thank you for joining me if you resonated with this reading hit that like button it may very well reach another scorpio that needs to hear these messages here as well so until next time scorpio take care bye